Mr. Campbell, these are the type of charges where usually people don't get OR bonds. A Butler Tech staff member arraigned on nearly two dozen charges related to child porn. The school says David Campbell is now on administrative leave while the case proceeds. Our Brenda Ordonez was inside the courtroom and joins us now live with the latest. Megan, Trisha, we just heard the judge telling David Campbell that normally people facing the kinds of charges he is don't get OR bonds. Despite that warning, Campbell was released on his own recognizance. Now, what led up to that decision? Campbell's attorney, Joe Suri, talking at length about his strong community ties. With respect to Bond, he's been in the same home for 23 years. He's been married for 27 years. His wife is here with him. He has two adult children. 56-year-old David Campbell's attorney citing his strong ties to his community as he argues for him to be released on his own recognizance. Because of the uh, indictment, he's been placed on administrative leave from his job. His attorney, Joe Suri, says Campbell has worked in education for 28 years. Butler Tech officials say they hired Campbell in 2010. He was working as their director of robotics, engineering, aviation, and manufacturing before being placed on administrative leave on August. 19th. We became aware of it in late May, early June, when we were contacted by the detective from Mason. Campbell is facing nine counts of pandering sexually oriented matter involving a minor or impaired person and another 14 counts of illegal use of a minor or impaired person in nudity oriented material or performance. Court documents indicate that it was while he was employed at the school that Campbell allegedly engaged in a criminal activity involving minors. Now, since the indictment was filed directly, we don't have many details, but we know the alleged incidents took place in March and April of this year. We're asking for a Bond. Despite the allegations in this case, I think the purpose here of, of the bond is to secure his appearance. He's obviously willing to do that. Obviously, he's not a flight risk. He's got strong ties to the community. Now, again, that was enough for the judge to release Campbell on his own recognizance. He will be on electronically monitored house arrest with work release privileges. Now, Butler Tech tells us that at this time he's going to remain on administrative leave. Now, prosecutors also mentioned that there were no local victims involved in this case. We're hoping to learn more case details when Campbell returns to court for his pretrial hearing on September 25th. Of course, we're going to let you know as soon as we find those details. For now, live in Warren County, I'm Bernard Ordonez, Fox 19 now. And a thank you.